The fifth STEM club to try is trying an experiments club. This is a great way for doing those experiments that you haven't done in a while that take a little bit of prep like slime and oobleck. Only do oobleck if you don't have carpet on your floor. Um, definitely don't do that. <laughs> and also just those things that are um, engaging that they might miss out on the regular class. They may or may not be doing those things. So hands-on experiments are a great club. With that, I also hosted an after-school club, which honestly, this one I didn't really like very much, but we did it. I tried it. Didn't do it again, um, but hosted um, where we were setting up a school weather balloon that we were going to set up send up into near space. And the students were picking the things that we would have as the experiments that we would send up with the weather balloon. And they also set up the frame with the help with some people from our district. And then I had to go and set up a school-wide assembly event where the whole school went out to watch this balloon getting set up. And the kids who are in the club got to help with that process. I didn't like this one as much because it was very teacher-driven. And I and like teacher driven in a sense where I was doing a lot of the learning and the trainings. And also I did have to drive and get the balloon. So I had to drive for two hours and then go find it in the middle of a field and drive back. Also, this was very weird. It's weird how a couple of clubs got affected by this. The day the balloon got launched was the last day the kids had school for the rest of spring because of the COVID shutdown. So it was weird. Um, I, I thought it, it was cool, a cool experience, but also a lot of work on the teacher. So keep that in mind. 